Hey, how are you doing? How is day whatever of whatever this is that we're going through uh, going for you? A uh, friend that owns the Yogi Studio put online today said, Welcome to March 97th, just because basically we're in this vortex of weirdness and I thought it was pretty funny and spot on. And so like uh, specifically, how are your hands? You know, are they all wrinkly and all crinkled from washing them frequently and diligently and for a long time with lots of soap and hot, nice hot water. And I, I mentioned that because was a, as I was learning to speak, <laughs> as I was washing my hands the other day, it occurred to me that this is a sacred act. And it's interesting how these uh, big shifts in our individual lives or our family lives or, you know, or bigger like this is, have this uh, ability to like kick us in the bum and open our eyes and open our hearts to bigger truths, to bigger realities that were uh, often always there, or always had the possibility of being there. For example, there's this story uh, that you may have heard of about Moses and the burning bush. And so it's, you know, Moses minding his own business, walking through the desert, sees a bush on fire. It's like, that's super interesting because it's not being burnt up. It's just like, this continual blaze and he goes over and checks it out and then you know God speaks to him from the bush and uh, later reflecting on that rabbis would say well it wasn't that there was one bush that was on fire with the with the glory of of the spirit with the glory of source it was all the bushes everywhere and, and it's this pointing to this bigger reality it's the one event that opens our eyes to a bigger reality that the whole world like I have this beautiful cherry balsam tree across the street from me out the window, the whole world is a light with that kind of gorgeous, powerful, potent beauty and richness and depth and connection. And it's like just the world is singing with um, beauty and amazingness and unity, right? And togetherness and that we're all connected and all related. And so that's why when I was washing my hands, I was like, this is a prayer. This is an act of love. This is an act of kindness, not only to myself, but to others. Apparently, I heard today from a, a Science Mike, he's a guy that I, I trust. I don't know him or anything, but I listen to his podcasts and read his books. And uh, he's a super smart guy. He said that uh, every person who gets infected in, with the coronavirus infects 2.4 more people. So it truly is loving for us to keep our physical distancing while remaining socially as you know connected and we have this amazing ability to be more connected than ever without even actually being able to literally shake hands or hug um, which are also super important but at this time we have to create um, you know boundaries to be able to love each other well and it, it kind of gets at that you know the sacredness of washing your hands everything that we do can have a sacred quality to it can have an act of love to it when we do it with awareness, when we do it with mindfulness, when we do it with purpose, when we do it with understanding for the impact of what we're doing, you know, and the whole, like the whole butterfly effect and then how one small thing that you do can have a big ripple effect. And so truly, if you, if you part of, I mean, I struggle with, you know, some anxiety and worries about, am I doing enough? Am I doing the right things? And, you know, and just feeling isolated and all that kind of stuff. And really the small things that you're doing, the small things that I'm doing, they matter a lot and they make a big impact and they're big deals and they're really awesome and you matter and you're making the world a better place and you're loving other people's what other people's other people well just by remaining at home, just by washing your hands, just by, you know, coughing into or sneezing into your elbow just by wearing a mask when you, you go out, by my wife and I have been going on walks uh, at least once a week, uh, like for an hour and 20 minutes or so, we go about four miles. And as we pass people these last couple of weeks, we mindfully, you know, create space. And, and we always say hi, we always wave, people always smile and wave back, they even thank us for making space to keep our distance and everything, and they're happy about it. And it's that's an act of love. It's a powerful act of physical separateness to actually be more together and more connected than ever before in a way um, and it's just a reminder of that the things that you do are sacred the people that you're around are sacred the trees out your door are sacred the washing your hands is sacred it's all powerful it's all purposeful it's all meaningful and uh, just 
hopefully all that makes sense and there's just some thoughts that were you know on my mind in my heart you know and I just wanted to hopefully offer those words of encouragement and hope uh, that you are doing fabulously all things considered and staying well and staying connected and staying healthy and staying sane and I hope this helps with that a little bit and you can look at check out my new shirt it's one of my last Christmas presents you know baby Yoda saying namaste so you know I think that's a, a good landing point love and namaste my friends <laughs>